Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Peak to Middle School. My name is Narwhal. I'm here with Kylie. What's up? How are we doing? <laughs> How are we doing today? Happy Halloween. Halloween was like three days ago. Three days now. ago. Yeah. yeah. We're a little late on it. Sorry, guys. You know, it's good, though, because right, we're having this come out right when everyone's getting out of the Halloween spirit. We're just like, pow. It's like we're right back in it. We yeah. never left. You can't escape from our Halloween yeah. spirit. You cannot escape this, okay? <laughs> You're looking at it. You can't escape it. No. Um, how would you describe what you are? Just a woman. I'm a woman. I'm Kylie. I'm embracing my womanhood. Are you a different woman or are you <clears throat> Kyle version woman? You know, like mm. if Kyle was a woman, this is you or are you just like Rebecca? No, yeah, I'm not, I'm not like Kyle woman. I'm like something else. Okay. I'm, like, I'm like a different beast. If you had to give a name for the vibe that you're feeling, what would it be? Like a, yeah, like a Becky. Becky? Becky. Dude, yeah. Becky's the worst. Yeah. Becky's right behind you, you Karen. You think this is something cool? <laughs> you think this is cool? You think this wig looks cool? No, not, no. not particularly. You think a Becky hair looks cool? I do Probably think not. you look better as a girl than I think most guys could pull off. Is that... Is that good? Yeah, yeah. No, I think like just. I'll take it. I don't know what it is, but you actually, they're like there are like some girls good. that look like you. Like I'm pretty. There yeah. are actually girls that look like you. Bangable, you'd say. Well, <laughs> don't get ahead. Lights of Lights are off. Lights are off. If the lights yes or no. are off. Yes or no. It would take me a little longer to figure out that okay. you're a girl. You'd have to feel around first. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, but yeah. So, w what are you for Halloween? Um, you're just a big mess. Both. Yeah, you know, I feel like this represents me. It's like I'm just a little of everything. Yeah. And everything is very below average. Okay. But when you bring it all together, like <laughs> just average 20% of that, 20% of that, 20% of that, you get 20% of like a really cool thing. So you're like 20% cool. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's good. That's good. The other 80% is up for interpretation. I'll yeah. leave it up to you guys. But this is up for interpretation. I don't know what you could say John is. John <laughs> looks like he's at a masquerade party slash. What's a masquerade party? It's where you wear the masks. But what does the parade mean? It's a, it's a big, it's like a parade, but it's masks, so it's like a parade. Have you seen um? I don't know, dude. Masquerade party. That's where all the rich people at those parties and they have they their have masks sex? on and they have big orgies. Like, well, have you seen American Beauty? I think that's what it's called. No, I'm sure there might be orgies at masquerade parties. I forget what movie. There's an old classic movie about like rich people. Maybe Tom Cruise. Someone's in it. That's faint. I don't know who's in it, but like they go to this party. People. They get invited to this party with like a bunch of millionaires okay. and they think it's just going to be like, oh, whatever. It's like a cool party. You've got to wear a mask. They get there. They find out it's like a cult where they all wear masks and they all just have huge orgies everywhere. That's probably based on a true story because yeah. I guarantee that's real. And I'm sure Tom Cruise is in on it. Um, yeah, no, but masquerade parties, there's always that Disney movie where there's like a masquerade party and then she's like looking for her Prince Charming and then mm -hmm. she sees him or he sees her, but he doesn't recognize that she's the unpopular girl in her mask. Uh, and then they, they dance together. They have this great night and then they never see each other again. And then like they go back to school and she's like, hey, what about last night? He's like, oh, oh that yeah, was you. <laughs> and then it makes every single teenage girl insecure. Yeah. About, and that's how they get fucked at body images. And thanks then to those movies end of the movie the you know nerdy girl in the masquerade she gets the popular guy and then they you know she's like bumped up in the friend groups and it really shows that it doesn't matter what friend group you're in you can date whoever you want which really wasn't the case in at least no not, around here not true at all i never I, like as sad as that is i never saw the unpopular not that attractive girl dating right the star football player that's true you're right and so those movies just fuck with everyone's perception of reality guys yeah uh, but i mean that's probably like a it, it's a good message they're saying no it's a good message it's, it's just, just not, not true <laughs> it's just not the right message yeah does that make it a bad message like if i was to make a movie and it was no. about how like even if you're three foot three you can do a 360 dunk and the whole movie is about a guy that's three foot three trying to do a 360 dunk White and he, one jump. day he accomplishes it yeah that's a good that's a good message showing but, don't give up on your dreams but what about the other three foot three people that are trying to do 360 dunks they're not as athletic so then that they're gonna get them. down on themselves sucks for them they're already down on themselves anyways <laughs> they're already pretty far down can't get much lower you're three foot three uh you're not dunking hey you don't know that what do you think the shortest person ever dunk is hmm like four eleven there's no way a four eleven person you don't think dunk. there's been a four eleven guy like Nate Robinson's like five three, right? He's like five nine. Wait, really? Yeah, he's not five <laughs> okay, three, dude. Okay. The smallest Shit. NBA player I think was Spud Webb. Spud Webb or Muggsy Bogues were like five 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 three, maybe. And Muggsy they could was dunk? five three. No. 
Spud Webb Spud Web could dunk. Muggsy could not. <laughs> okay, Spud Webb. But didn't Spud Webb like win a dunk contest? Yeah. And Nate Robinson jumped over Spud Webb in the dunk contest. Nate Robinson dunked over Dwight Howard. And Spud Webb. He yeah, did Spud Webb first, and then he did Dwight Howard. But that's not impressive, jumping over Spud Webb. <laughs> well, it was it's like, yo, dude, look, I'm going to jump over this rock. That was step one. <laughs> <laughs> look at this small thing I jumped over. Yeah. yeah. Well, but back, cool. back to masquerade parties, the thing that always bugged me about those movies is that it's so obvious to tell that you're you. But you have like a little mask on. That's because it's not dark, like you said. In the dark, it's hard no, to but tell. It's and not you, like, know it's, you know me so well. No, but it's not dark. But if I'm saying if like our high school had a masquerade party, yeah, I'd be able to tell who everyone is. Yeah, but masquerade parties aren't usually everybody who already knows each other. It's usually like, you know, rich person gets invited to CEO of Tesla's masquerade party. Dude, I don't think Tesla's having masquerade parties. I don't you think know, Elon's dude. doing Elon's masquerades? Into some weird shit, dude. Yeah, dude. He's if anyone's got orgies, it's him. Yeah, yeah. Elon Musk and Tom Cruise are probably get along really well, or they're on like opposite ends of the orgy spectrum. Yeah, I feel like Elon's just like straight orgies. Tom's like weird shit because he's like yeah. you know Christian scientist, or whatever the fuck that is. Not Christian. He's what Scientologist? What's the Scientologist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, don't yeah. So that. I never actually answered. I think. From my understanding, I'm a punk rock witch um, who just got back from a masquerade party. Yeah, you look like a witch that's trying to rebel. Like, uh, yeah, you're using your punk rock to rebel your your witchdom. Dude, speaking of rebelling, my sister went to an Amish community. Did she rebel? No, no, but like, you know, there's a lot like Amish people that rebel. Have you seen the TV show Breaking Amish? Yeah, and she asked them about that. Apparently, that's like not accurate at all. No, it's not. It's definitely stay. And they it's all TLC. hate it. Because the, the Amish people were saying the whole concept of, like, being Amish is, like, they're just, like, very, like, natural. So they live, like, off the land, like, no electricity, no, like, you know, modern shit. And they were saying, like, if this community that they're filming was really Amish, they wouldn't let people film them. Mm. Like, real Amish people don't let people take photos of them and they don't let videos get taken of them. So they're like, there's in the first place to find a group that someone's gonna break Amish. They're not even Amish in the first place. But they could have been Amish, and then they're breaking Amish by no, being filmed. But, but the whole community wouldn't allow, like the okay, because they film in their like home community their before they break away, and they're like, that well, doesn't even what make is any this sense. place? Well, where I mean, are they they're, they're fake Amish. They're they're like the you know. Are they like literally not fake or like not Amish people that well, like no, actors? They're, no, they're not actors, but they're not like. You know, the real Amish people. Like, people who haven't been to church in 13 years say, like, oh, yeah, I'm Christian. It's okay. like, you're not really Christian. You're just like... Why I, would you, like, want to be partially Amish? Like, <laughs> well, if you're going to do it, go full Amish. If you're, like, partially Amish, it's like, what? You're doing horse and buggies, but, like, you watch YouTube? Like, well, I don't... <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think they... I don't, I don't... I don't know. I just know that she went there, and apparently... She said, first of all, they're like the nicest people ever, and they're like, su- it was super cool experience. Or but that's what they, they want you to think. Oh. They want you to be Amish. No, it's not even a religious thing that, well, I mean, I guess technically it's a religion, but it's not like we're being, we're not using electricity for like a god. It's just like. It's like a cult, though. No, it's not a cult. Then what is it? It's a they religion. In, it is a religion, com- They I guess. live in communities, though. Yeah. Yeah. There's Amish communities. It's pretty just culty. It, is, I don't think that's Dude, what you define Every cult, as a cult ever cult, has like lived in a community where it's like we have our own rules. Yeah, but they don't have like weird shit where it's like, oh yeah, we're gonna try and make it people come be, join it, us. It and could like, be like a smaller version of a cult. I think it's a cult. I I wouldn't. I don't think it's a cult. But I mean, is there it, like it an depends. Amish leader who created Amish? I don't think there's like a Mister Amish. That's what I'm saying. They don't have like a god that they all like. John Amish. I don't know, dude. Okay. But like, she went and visited, and apparently, they like. They love when people come to visit and they it's open to anyone where you can sit in their classrooms and just kind of hang out with them for the day and like see what it's all about. And uh what? Well, that just seems kind of not Amish. Why dude, all what having people come and watch them makes it not well, it's Amish. Well, like why dude, listen, the way it works from when I my understanding, they don't give a fuck what other people do. You can literally have your cell phone, you can show them like you can do whatever. They just don't participate in it. So they, so can go they could be filmed. No, 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 they don't let people film them. <laughs> okay. It's no, but she was saying like they don't give a fuck what you do. So they'll like they're allowed to go in cars. It just can't be their car. So people okay. can pick them up and drive them places. All right. And the way that some of the women make a living is they work in people's as like maids and stuff and like cleaners and stuff. Um, 
And like, yeah, so they go to school up until, I don't know, like fifth grade maybe. And then they just start working on like the farm and stuff. God, that sucks. And, uh, till yeah. 13, huh? They go to school till 13. I don't until fifth grade. I said, Oh yeah. And then they start working. And she said every single member of the community has a role. So as you horrible. as you go up, dude, it's not like, like it, I'm not trying to shit on. They the love Amish it. <laughs> she said they were the happiest people she's ever met. Yeah, but like they're dumb because they don't go to school. They're not dumb though. They're super smart. You're telling me you'd they be can, smart if you stopped going to school in fifth grade? They can do a bunch of shit I can't do. They're so knowledgeable and like building shit and living off the land and like. Okay. Dude, they're not dumb. To but be, they probably to aren't learning like that. They just probably aren't learning about. No, they don't learn fucking calculus and. Yeah, I mean that's whatever. But like, like they're probably not learning about history and. No, no. But I mean that's, that's kind of bad. Their, like you I should. I, I feel like I disagree. Just, <laughs> I think it's really cool. Okay. I mean, yes, it's interesting. It's just I feel like you shouldn't, like, not teach kids that stuff. Like, there's important stuff that everyone should learn. Yeah, like, I mean, I don't know, right I don't know what they teach them, dude. I didn't go there. Yeah, why didn't you tell me more? <laughs> God damn, bro. <laughs> Sorry, I was just shitting on the Amish people. No, like, from my understanding, it was like, Morgan said it was one of the coolest experiences ever. They're super nice, and they're like, yeah, they're really cool. And, like, each family wears like different colors so like your family has a certain color it's that's like, like game, your color game colors and like over time i guess they like switch it up or like every few years i think they get like to wear like a different color wow every <laughs> couple years i wear blue yeah and like they don't cut their beards because like the longer your beard is like a sign of like uh not i respect, would not be a good like, amish person <laughs> but like it's a sign of like you're like a seasoned veteran if you got like a crazy ass beard and yeah. so and i think like up until you're married, you can't grow. You're not allowed to grow your beard. But once you're married, you never cut it. So it's like it's like the uh, when you have like a flower in one of your ears when you're Hawaiian or whatever. It's Something like, like one that. One ear is the taken ear. Like if I have a beard, I'm taking. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, dude. I learned so much stuff. It was so cool. Um, and she was saying like, <laughs> I don't really know how this one works, but like, they don't believe in allergies, and so like. <laughs> They they brought cookies. Just force feed peanuts to everybody. <laughs> yeah, but like everyone on the apparently everyone was fine. Like no one's had any issues. But they they brought cookies and they were like, oh, like my sister and her friend brought cookies when they went to visit. I was like, oh, you know, thanks for letting us come and check it out. And they're like, oh, but they have they have like nuts in them. And the teacher's like, okay. She's like, yeah, but like you should just make sure like the kids who are allergic don't take these because they have nuts. And the teacher's like. Wouldn't like no one's allergic. Like, what do you like? Just set them there. We'll just take them. I wonder if allergies <laughs> come from like unnatural shit that we eat. Maybe because they're probably doing all, all natural. Yeah, dude. You know what I mean? Like breast milk and then like whatever the hell farmed shit. Yeah. And we're just having all this processed stuff, and that's probably where, where allergies are coming from. Well, the thing that's weird to me about allergies is like clearly there was a time when, you know, like we started caring about allergies at some point. But before that point, like, people just ate whatever they could eat. Yeah. And I don't think someone, like, was trying to survive and just ate something they're, like, allergic to and just died on the spot. Yeah, like, I don't think a caveman, like, found some nuts and then just ate them and died. Or, like, yeah, I don't think a caveman ate, like, a certain nut and was like, oh, damn, I can't eat these. Like, he's going to eat whatever the fuck he can eat. Yeah, or, like, watermelon. Yeah. Like, I would die. (laughs) If I just lived off watermelon, I wouldn't breathe. Yeah, but I think, like, the allergies have probably been developed over time, you know? We're kind of like, bitches. people didn't used to be, like, allergic to gluten. Like, gluten. Yeah, that's all new. Or maybe they were. They just didn't. Maybe they just always had upset stomachs. Yeah, probably. <laughs> There's probably people that have been like, yeah, I don't know. Just my whole life, my stomach's been hurting. Maybe you're allergic to shit that you're eating. Oh. Anyone that complains about their stomach hurting, just stop eating one of the things that you keep eating. Yeah, just don't eat it, guys. Just stop eating in just general. Just stop eating and your, your stomach, stomach can't hurt. hurt. Yeah. It's good yeah. advice. Okay, I'm going to change outfits real quick just okay. to match you. Uh, by the way, guys, if you're on one of the audio streaming platforms, first of all, you should leave a review on the Apple Podcast app to get us to 250 reviews. We're getting pretty close. Uh, you know, tell your friends. Just It helps out a lot. Go leave a review. Also, check out the YouTube version because, you know, th- there's no <laughs> benefit of us dressing up like this if you guys are on There's kind audio. of a benefit. <clears throat> getting hair in my mouth. Uh, this kind of a benefit. You I mean, feel we, a different vibe? I feel good. Okay, yeah. Like, I feel like I just look good. Like, I feel confident. No, you look good, but I'm just saying, like, you should probably check out the YouTube yeah. version so you guys can see this stuff. Do it. 
John has officially shed his witch hat. <sighs> okay, the witch hat is gone. I'm not feeling like, you know, I don't feel like haunting people anymore. Dude, this is a kind of a cool hairstyle. <laughs> like, you, you could, I could actually see you rocking no, this hairstyle. You're, you're, you're you being got like mean. a side part. You're being you, sarcastic. You got like a again. cool bang hanging on the side of your face that you could just sit there and like comb, <laughs> you know? You got like, it's like, uh, you know, John and Kate plus eight. I do. There was, you know, that. Uh, the Kate woman. Yeah. Yeah. You know, her hairstyle. It was like really popular. Not really. But all the Karens had it. It was okay. just like, it looked like that kind of, but blonde. <laughs> That's what it looks like. This you is coming from the guy who said, and I quote, John looks like a llama. I saw the clip yesterday. Nah. And the guy who thinks I look like fucking, what is the name? Like Kufus Kufus or whatever the fuck <laughs> that NBA player is. <laughs> what is his name? Costa Kufus. Kufus. Kufus Kufus. <laughs> Bro, Kyle says I look like the <laughs> ugliest fucking things. Look, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> that guy's very ugly. I was saying he looks like if you looked so much uglier, <laughs> you would look like him. But you're not an ugly guy, so you don't look like him. But I'm just saying wow. if you were to go downhill, down that path, you would look like him. <laughs> so that that's your motivation to like stay pretty. I can't take you seriously right now. Uh, it's hard to. Dude, you know what I finally realized about your fucking face? <laughs> Dude, I finally realized Keep it. the table, fuck. Your, your left eye always looks a little more stoned than your right eye. Stoned? Not that you look high, but like when you laugh, that eye <sighs> looks high a little bit. I got a high left eye? Yeah. <laughs> just just like, like 3% high. Okay, well, I'm not high. No, you're not laughing right now. <laughs> yeah, you see it? That was creepy. <laughs> I just saw myself laughing in my phone. Uh, no, I didn't see it, but All right, thanks. Well, um, Got a high left eye. Yeah. So I don't know. Oh, dude, I tried to just move my veil and it wasn't here anymore. <laughs> I'm just kind of sad, dude. I missed the veil already. Yeah. Um, You're under a microscope now. You can't hide behind your veil. I guess not. Um, so, yeah, shout out to Amish people, unless it's a cult and everyone there hates it and whatnot i still whatnot. have a lot of questions i'm skeptical kyle's skeptical i'm on board john's 100 percent. i would love to join the amish but you know um you know, why join the army when you can join the amish <laughs> exactly <laughs> yo you seen that video of the amish people moving a fucking house what they just Dude, pick it up and they don't use it? electronics or like electricity or like motor vehicles yeah. and shit so on their farm <laughs> they had to move like a whole barn that they built like they had to move it to a different part of the land okay and they had, they literally got like 300 people inside the barn, like there's men, and they just pick it up. And there's a, someone who's filming from like the outside and they zoomed in. Whoa, was it an Amish guy? No, no, it was, this was an, un, un, an illegal film of the Amish. Hmm, so they are allowed to be filmed. Well, I mean, it's not like they're going <laughs> to hunt you down and shoot you if you hey, film one from the road. If there's an Amish mafia like there is on TLC, then. That's a show too? Amish, Amish mafia? mafia? Yeah, I remember that Bro. being a show. I just remember seeing dudes like riding on like a wagon being pulled by horses with a gun and like yeah they had like a musket mm. it's like what are you gonna do with a musket like if i got shot by a musket i think i'd be okay <laughs> like you can shoot me with a musket i'd be like Ow. well it's, it's still a bullet i mean it would hurt but it just takes a long time to reload yeah it's like if you miss me i'm beating the shit out of you before you reload yeah although amish people got that amish strength yeah dude they're strong they were so it was like 300 of them and they lift up a barn and just waddle over as like in unison and like drop it over to the side i was mind blown how far did they move it that's moving in the amish communities you don't move houses you move your house yeah yeah dude it was crazy um but uh something i thought that would be fun for today in honor of the halloween spirit mm. let's get spooky you know you know, you can always count on John to have My fantastic ideas here. So uncomfortable. Today we're going to go through and we're going to discuss the top Halloween costumes of every year since we were born. Okay? Is there like a list of them? There's a list oh, right. of the most purchased Hall or like purchased or most, you know, dressed okay. up as Halloween costume. Wait, for what, what do you think number one this year is? Well, I already looked through the list. Oh, but for 2020? Yeah. Ooh. See, like... I think Trump back in the day was like a f like a big thing in like 2016. Yeah. I don't know if people would still dress up as Trump. I'm trying to think like what's been the new trend. Like Among Us. I've Ooh. seen I've seen um I mean that's this probably not a common one. I saw um a trash can and then Jose Altuve. Okay, yeah. I also saw OBJ with poop. uh poop around their mouth. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was my favorite one. But I'm trying to think of something that transcends yeah, all no. genres right, like right, something right, right. worldwide. Among it's COVID, like, probably. Like, people dressing yeah. up as, like, a virus or something. Or just, like, a Corona beer. 
yeah. or something. Yeah. I mean, you were kind of ahead of your time with the whole swine flu thing. I was, dude. <laughs> yeah, I got I got some hate for that. People were like, "Oh, this is that's inappropriate." I'm like, "No, it's I funny. think it was actually quite appropriate. It's kind of funny. It was exactly appropriate. Yeah. Um, perfectly appropriate." So. Actually, I'll rattle off some from the earlier years just so you get an idea. All right. And then you can kind of each time, each year, you'll guess, and then okay. we can kind of discuss it. So I 19- feel like a Power Rangers got to be in there. They they were. So 1990 yes. is the Ninja Turtles. 1991, the Terminator. 92, Catwoman. 1993, Barney. Yeah. Power Rangers. 1994, Star Trek. Scream. Batman and Robin. South Park, which is really weird to me. Okay, okay, sorry. I, I went too far. Okay, South Park is 1998, so the year we, we were born. South Park's from 98? Well, that's the year that the most people dressed up as South that's, Park I didn't know Halloween. it was that old, though. I thought it was... I guess so, yeah. yeah. All right, okay. So everyone dressed as Kyle. They dressed as me the year I was born. I so. guess so, yeah. Um. Okay, 1999, Kyle. If you had to guess. Dude, I don't know anything that happened in 1999. Popular movie. Dude, no, no clue. No clue. All right, the Matrix. What are you dressing up as? The, There's that, like Neo, the dude with right? The pills? Oh isn't, yeah, isn't that his name? The dude with the dope glasses. When it comes to the outdated fashion and a long leather trench coat and tiny sunglasses, mm. are definitely the list of please don't wear. But in 1999, this pairing was all the rage as the costume from the hit film The Matrix. You know that Will Smith could have been uh, the guy that Neo. Yeah, is that his name? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, no, not Neo. Is Neo the main character? What's I his, think so. What's, his, uh, what's the guy actor's name? Keanu Reeves. Oh yeah, he yeah. could have been Keanu Reeves. Well, he could have been Neo. <laughs> no, he would have been. He could have played Keanu Reeves playing Neo. <laughs> he goes Will Smith <laughs> as Double Keanu acting. Reeves as Neo. Yeah, that the, honestly that would work. That would be impressive That'd acting. Be pretty cool. <laughs> Double acting. <laughs> okay. Um, two thousand. Any clue? Dude, Eminem. I don't know. Austin Powers. Okay, that's. Now, did that's you have solid. a phase where you? Because I remember growing up, like, probably around, like, fourth or fifth grade, it was obviously past the start of Austin Powers, but yeah. I just remember one of my buddies, Trey, would always tell me, like, yo, we got to watch the Austin Powers movies. Like, my brothers told me they're awesome. I was obsessed with them when I was younger. So you you did have, like, a huge Austin Powers Oh, face. I was all aboard the Austin Powers train. At what age do you think? Uh, Probably, grade? like, eight. Eighth to grade? Eight. No, I was eight. Oh. When I probably first saw it, but I didn't really fully understand it till I was probably like 12. Yeah, yeah. See, 13. like, I watched them, but I think I was just too young to really. Like, there's some things you get. Like, yeah. there was Mini Me, right? Yeah. And I always thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's pretty funny. <laughs> but that, that's really all I yeah. got. No, I mean, it's. Yeah, it's a solid movie. It's not that you would watch it now and be like, it's not that good. But yeah. back then, yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Um. All right, 2001, you're not going to get this. People dressed up as the SNL Spartan cheerleaders. Which, so apparently there was a skit on SNL in 2001 with Will Smith or Will Ferrell. And they were a cheerleader couple and a bunch of people dressed up as that. Oh, wait, let me see him. Yeah, I've seen that clip. That 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 um skit's pretty funny. See, I've seen it. Is it? Do you think that SNL watching like the classic SNL skits is something that like I should do if I've never I've never watched SNL in my life. Really? Ever. Yeah, there's some good ones you should watch. I mean, some of it like it's based off of something that's happening at the time so you might not get it as much like yeah. the political ones i don't laugh as much because i don't really dive that deep into yeah. politics uh but yeah there's some funny stuff like the you ones that are it. more just general like you've never seen the cowbell video like i need more cowbell i've seen I've never seen D- any dude you, you gotta watch those i've you also should. see yeah i've heard a lot of people talk about snl and uh the Chappelle show which i've never I've watched never seen that which apparently is absolutely hilarious um okay 2002 we were four. I don't know. Eminem? Spider-Man. Like, you, you've guessed Eminem twice now. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, Eminem is not on the list. Fuck. All right. Uh, it was Spider-Man, okay? Ugh. Sorry. So Sorry it says Batman may have dominated the 80s and 90s, but the, 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 but the 2000s were all about Spider-Man, thanks to the 2002 film starring Tobey Maguire. You know, Kyle and I both have said we're not... <laughs> God, this hair is getting Dude, really I know. annoying. It's just got in my mouth. Um, we're both not big into superhero stuff, nah. but I do like Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man. It was a classic. I don't even think I've seen it, nor what? do I plan on You've seeing it. You've never seen the classic Spider-Man? Nah. I, I watched the one with uh, Andrew Garfield and uh, Emma Stone, maybe, is in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I watched that one. That's it? I watched it on a first date. You know, Oh. Didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> so did the first date go well? <laughs> yeah, it went fine. Okay. I mean, did you don't pretend do that you for... liked it? Did you pretend you liked it after? Were you like, oh, that was fun? Yeah, huh? probably. Also, first date movie is not 
Yeah, move. guys, guys, listen. A lot of you are younger than us, and not that we're very have very good advice for the dating scene. We don't at <laughs> look all. at us. But <laughs> don't go to a first date at a movie theater. Yeah, do something like where more you're relaxed. forced to talk. Yeah, like go to a park or. All right, John <laughs> has just changed wigs, and he looks like. You look like if, you, if your face was older, you would look like someone that was in a rock band in the 70s that had done way too many drugs and then just hung on to that long hair thinking it was still a good look. Yeah, and just like let my diet go and everything. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, and you just look I like drink a lot. Yeah, a lot of heroin and stuff. Would you say I'm, I'm depressed or am I mentally happy with life? You're depressed for yeah. sure. It's hard to look like that and not. Do you think I have erectile depressed. dis... Wait, first of all, am I a woman or, or, a, or, a, or a man? You're a man. Oh, so do I have erectile dysfunction? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That thing hasn't worked in like 30 years. Yeah. It's, um, it stopped working when you were like 20. Like, guys, I can't express how fucking gross this wig is. Like, listen, Kyle doesn't look good, but that wig at least looks like it it's could a better be a, wig. a female wig. This is supposed to be, this is marketed as a Hannah Montana wig. And dude, it, it looks nothing close to dude, that. Dude, it's like Tana Montana if she was just trashy as fuck and she was like a stripper. <laughs> you look like a stripper. A trash no worse than that like a hannah montana prostitute yeah you look like a stripper that's not even a strip club you just strip just for fun the, just on the street <laughs> just a park yeah yeah um this i feel really itchy and gross right yeah. now but we're gonna power through for you guys and i have um a different uh thing here for the end i if do it, too but i think i want to just keep this yeah keep this on wait can you you got it can you switch up at, at some point the construction work yeah, yeah yeah i can do that okay okay um so 2002 was spider-man okay 2003 any guess like a you're five like a build a bear or something build a bear like, that was big yeah like a sour patch or not sorry a cabbage patch <laughs> kid <laughs> sour patch kid. <laughs> that would be fire cabbage patch kid what what, what was the bears the build a bear no 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 maybe i'm thinking of a, my little ponies oh yeah the ponies okay the good guesses but it was pirates why pirates of the caribbean no just, just pirates like yeah but like probably general. based off of that most likely yeah it says pirates of the caribbean <laughs> pirates of the caribbean uh the curse of the black pearl was released in the summer of 2003 and it made a bunch of people obsessed okay uh i was jack sparrow but i think Were i you? was i was a few years later but I, I do remember I have the thing and it was like a hat with built in dreadlocks. And that was my where my love for dreadlocks started. You could <laughs> you're kind of look like you could turn those into dreadlocks. Yeah. Those are like a couple non non shower days away from, from becoming dreadlocks yeah. and like the gross dreadlocks. Not like set like not like not well done. Made. Yeah. Like just self-made dreadlocks where it's just a big mat. Yeah, dude. OK, there's this one girl on Instagram named Georgia that Shim and I are obsessed with. She's a Olympic runner for Canada. And she's like an Under Armour athlete. Okay. And dude, she has this one, like it's a stylistically made dreadlock. She's got one dreadlock. Yeah. She's like, she has like normal hair, but she has like a dreadlock and it's so fucking hot. (laughs) Probably doesn't look good coming from a guy just like this. Like I probably, (laughs) I love her dreadlock, dude. dude. Her Her dreadlock dreadlock. is so, well, no, she's just hot, but the dreadlock is like next level. That's kind of the girl version of a rat tail though. No, 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 no. Don't you dare kind of, compare her to a rat tail. But, like, if she's pulling it off, that's fine. But no one can pull off a rat tail. Mm. Maybe it's, like, the girl version of a mullet. Because, like, some guys can kind of, like, weirdly pull off a mullet. Who? There's some, like, trashy dudes that kind of pull off a mullet. <laughs> or, like, like a mustache. Like a trash stash. Okay. Like, well, some guys kind of pull that off. Yeah. I think it also just depends on, like, your skin tone. Like, some guys with darker skin, I think, look better with a mustache. Yeah. Like we interviewed this guy, Adrian Strezzo, and he's definitely like has darker skin than me and Matt. And like he has his facial hair is something that I'm like, damn, that looks really cool on him. But I know if I did it, I'd look like pedophile. So what does he have? Just a mustache? No. He, well, like he has a mustache, but it's like not a full one. It's like kind of like a thinner one where they shave and it's kind of just like okay. right on their lip. You know? Are you, you going to do no shave November? Uh, Probably not. I did yeah, it. I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never I again. I mean, you... I do think the way facial hair works, though, is the more you try to grow it, the better it'll grow, right? Yeah, I just don't want to do it again. No, I don't blame you, but like... I'll wait till more testosterone kicks in as when's I'm that? wearing a wig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah. Guys, by the way, let us know in the comments what you're going to be for Halloween this year. Or just comment on the video just because, you know, I really don't care what you say, but you guys should comment on I every video what you say. to help the algorithm. Don't say something bad. Well, I mean, yeah. Just be nice. 
be friendly. Tell okay. Kyle he looks hot. Yeah. Just tell me. Uh, 2004. All right. We were six. Your prime time of annoyingness. Yeah. Like Dracula, Malfoy, maybe Harry Potter. Mm. You that, were you were Malfoy. I were you Malfoy. six around then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wrong. SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay. I had a SpongeBob costume. Really? Not anymore. But you were SpongeBob one year? I don't think I ever wore it for Halloween, but I had a costume. <laughs> what the hell? Maybe I did one year. I don't think I did, though. I don't remember you as SpongeBob. No, but, but I had a costume. Yeah, you know, I I still think SpongeBob costumes are one of those that are timeless. Oh, yeah. Like, you go to a college party and you see a guy as SpongeBob. Like, yeah. You're not even shocked. The most, like, lame Halloween outfit is just a guy wearing an NBA jersey. That like, doesn't even fucking like count. You tried zero. You just fa- you just have that and you put it on. <laughs> that, yeah, you would have worn that to like any sort of party, regardless. And like you're only wearing it because it shows off your arms. Yeah. And like, wh- why does everyone have to look hot on Halloween? Why can't I look scary? Why can't I yeah, wear this to a party? That's man? true. How why do come, I have to show off my arms? How come everyone in their twenties has this idea that we gotta look fucking sexy on Halloween? Fuck that. This is what Halloween's all about, <laughs> this, man. Guys, you're supposed to look scary and creepy. Yeah. And if this isn't creepy, I don't know what is. Yeah. I still look good. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's like if if I would be, I'm approachable at a party with wearing this. Yeah. I mean, people are gonna definitely have questions for sure. But yeah. but why do all the women gotta like? dress so provocatively to where the point where like i'm gonna look like this and i'm still gonna be kind of like <laughs> horny like i don't want that i want to be terrified hey, for mean, my life where would you want i'm not gonna you know i can't tell anyone what to wear but i'm just saying i would get made fun of for this yeah. this is halloween I, this is my costume yeah and people wouldn't even take him seriously i know and then there's some girl who's dressed up as like a nun a nun with her tits hanging out, and everyone loves it. Yeah, and why then can't Kyle I be get a woman? On. Yeah, maybe he's a nun. Yeah, <laughs> I could be a nun. Maybe he's a nun before she joined the nuns. Yeah, breaking nun. <laughs> or post nun. Post nun. Post nun yeah. too. Post nun. Um, I'm okay. finally letting my tits out, and I'm ha- I'm going out to a party because nuns can't do that. That's well, the irony of a nun costume: is you're going out and drinking. <laughs> yeah, nuns don't do that. I'll be Amish this year, maybe. Mmm. Yeah. And then I'll be like, hey guys, guys, guys. And I'll turn on the TV and everyone will be like, oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. 2005. Okay. Bob yeah. the Builder or like uh, Scooby-Doo. I don't know. What We're happened? seven at this point. I think you're kind of overestimating what Bob happened the Builder when we were seven, like, dude. A lot of things. Well, it's Star Wars. Uh, first yeah, of all. Okay. Uh, in 2005, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith was released and a whole new generation of kids fell in love with the space, with the space opera. What's I don't space know, opera mean? I don't know what that means. It was in space. Yeah, but what's op like opera? They didn't really sing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the whole series is just a, it's a big opera. It's a big, big long thing. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that I would not care if the Star Wars series was wiped from the existence of the planet. I'm with you on that. I don't think I've ever been interested in watching Star Wars. I've watched it and I've just been like, it's just not that cool yeah it's like not that good it's like i think the concept of like a whole civilization in space and like a different worldly thing with different like robots and different species is cool but like like the concept of that's cool to me but when i watch it i'm just like this is just boring yeah and i hate boring. to say it but i just think it's fucking boring same i watched i tried to watch one of the newer ones too turned it off 30 minutes in I watched one of the new ones in theaters and like it was cool because the special effects are better. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what was happening. Bro, you ever like, well, clearly you have, but for people listening, like, you know, when you go to a movie in like a group setting just because you don't want to be the guy that doesn't go, but it's a movie that like you need to know the storyline and yeah. you have no fucking yeah. clue. I went to the Fantastic Beast movie. Which is like oh, the post the Harry, Harry Potter, Potter one, yeah. Like a hun- I don't know, like hundred years after or whatever Something, the fuck. Yeah, I had no clue <laughs> of any of the characters, any of the storyline. But all the other people in the theater were like, "Oh, I love that movie. That was a good movie." The Fantastic Beast. Yeah, because I'm a I'm a big Harry did Potter guy. Did you see the guy. second one too? Uh, no, actually, I don't think I did. You should watch the second one. I will. Um, while wearing this wig. 2006. You're not gonna get it. Barack Obama was. When people, did he get elected? That's kind of early. Obama got elected in 08, didn't he? 
Uh, though he wouldn't run for president for another two years, then Senator Barack Obama was a rising star in 2006 and thus one of Spirits Halloween's most popular costumes. Okay. That's actually super surprising to that me. That is too. I would not have been... That two years before he got elected, people were fanboying over Obama? I didn't know who he was. I was also... I mean, I was eight. Eight, but... So, <laughs> like, I guess it makes sense that I don't remember this, but yeah. I guess it's kind of like, you know the... What's her name? AOC? Yeah. She's all over Twitter. She's kind of like a That's true. Some superstar. people hate her, but I guess some people hated Obama. So Yeah. Uh, 2007. I'll give you a hint. It is one that was in one of the past years. It has made a return. Whoa, Star Wars. Power Rangers. Uh, I don't remember any nope, of the other it years. It was Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Again, dude. Yep. Spider-Man, Spider-Man 3. Least, that's like the least original Halloween Yeah, costume. Spider-Man or Batman are the most like... Yeah. Like, we were shitting on people that wear basketball jerseys or, like, slutty nuns, but this Spider-Man. is probably the most, like, uninspired one, I would say. Yeah, it's like everyone has that costume. Like, everyone knows someone that has that costume. And it's so easy to get your hands on. Yeah, like, you just buy it at the store. It's like it's just there. It's front yeah. and center. It's like being a skeleton, which I also <laughs> was one year. Yeah, I was, everyone was a skeleton. Uh, all right. 2008. Um. I'll give you a hint. It is another thing related to superheroes. Captain America. Batman. Warmer. Mm, Batwoman. Mm, Superman. Less, less warm. Superman. The Iron Joker. Man. The Joker. Okay. Yeah, because that was when... Is that when The Dark Knight the came Dark out? The Dark Knight came out. Ooh, yeah. That's... Yeah. That's, yeah. I'm kind of bummed I never dressed up as the Joker because that one would have been like... Especially if you're a young kid who's like really yeah. into that stuff. The Joker was like an icon. I wasn't even into superheroes and the Joker was really fascinating to me. Yeah, no, I know. Th- that's just, I mean, that was one of the best acting performances ever. That's yeah. why, like, I-, I don't like Batman movies really that much, but that movie is just so good. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I'm going to put my helmet on. Okay. I okay. Can't stand this fucking Kyle's movie. sick of his wig. So now I'll get to be the blonde sexy girl. I'm about to snatch my own wig. Why the fuck do you have that? I don't know. I don't recall wearing this ever. Like, is that a real one or it's like a toy one? It's not real. <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> it looks so. It makes your head look so big because Dude, it just sits tiny. on like the top of your yeah, head. Yeah, it doesn't even go down. Oh, ew. Oh. A fun fact for you guys: Is this a fire helmet, or would you say this is a construction helmet? Ooh, no, it, I'd say it's a construction helmet. Oh, really? Yeah, because I think the fireman ones are more like. Yeah, but this is red, though. Yeah, but... Yeah, but this could be, like, a six-year-old fire helmet. Maybe that's, like, a fire helmet from, like, the 70s or something. Well, either way, I was, like, halfway to being a fireman. Yeah, so... (laughs) So this kind of matches. Were you even halfway? I passed all the the tests I needed to. I just didn't get hired. Oh, okay. (laughs) But then there would be, like, a lot of training and stuff before you, like, an actual fireman. Yeah, but, like, you know, I had the credentials. Okay. Just the... the I'd say you were, like, 44%. Okay, 44. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, 2009... What happened in 2009? Nothing. That's why Scooby-Doo. the most common one was fucking vampires. Yeah. No, that that's, is... that's because of um Twilight. Oh, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Damn, Twilight arrived in late 2008. That's kind of impressive, though, that it came out in late 2008, and the following year, 10 months later, it was still the biggest thing. Yeah, but there were so many Twilight movies, though. Like, that kind of lasted for a good four years no i know but like my point is when the first one came out in late 2008 clearly the next movie is not going to come out the yeah, next year i mean so people must have still been talking about it for that long i've never watched the twilight movies i have not um, all of them but i've seen them but i really like kristen stewart but whenever i say i like her people hate like shit on her because of these movies apparently does she suck in them she's just really boring <laughs> like not a cool character at all okay. like there's nothing i don't know i i'm not a twilight guy I just feel like no one was happy that entire movie. It was just a bunch of like darkness, and they're in take. It takes place in Forks, Washington. Oh which yeah, I've that's why there. it was big around here. Yeah, I've been there, and it's it is depressing. Isn't so, Forks like the highest suicide rate in the country? It's like one of the higher suicide rates. Yeah, so it's like it is a depressing place. It's like dark and just quiet and like dreary, and probably a lot of history of like death. Yeah. Um. So. Can you give me like a twelve second rundown of like what happened, the storyline of Twilight? Twilight. Yeah. Um, I mean, I haven't like, I don't know it too much. It's my just, just off your memory. All right. So there's Bella. She like moved into, you know, where the hell forks and she's going to the high school. She meets Edward and then he like smells her perfume or some shit or like her hair. And he's a vampire. <laughs> there's a bunch of vampires that live in a forest. They don't age. 
Uh, and Edward's one of them, Edward's but he's also in high school. He's also in high school, but he's like actually like three hundred. Oh, something, but he's like shit. a high schooler. Okay, and they keep they keep moving around. And maybe. that's the guy that you said looks like a llama. No, that's the <laughs> werewolf. Oh, and they're then, in the same movie. Yeah, the werewolf's clash. Oh, so that's the, why there's a lot of hot people in this movie. We got the werewolf hot guy. Yeah, and we got the vampire. I think the hot werewolves guy. are hotter. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then there's like the whole team member, team Jacob, but they really they both sucked. Ah, uh, see, I remember that. Yeah. Apparently, like the ending, like everyone hates both of them, uh, so it's like there's no really winner. Was she in love with both? Yeah, uh, I think Jacob was in love with her, but she loved Edward, mm. and then Edward. There was a whole triangle square. Did they ever have an orgy? On. They could have. That would have been fun. <laughs> did they ever have sex? Any of them? I don't know. I Damn, didn't, that's kind of lame. I mean, I'm you'd sure. remember if they did. Well, I've always saw the first one. Oh, okay. And I just know a little bits and pieces. Cool. I haven't watched all of them back to back to back to back ever multiple times. Um, all right, 2010. It's a singer. Uh, Adele. Lady Gaga. Oh, there you yeah. go. Your first one. 2010. Proud of you. That sounds about right. While some prefer their meat medium rare, in 2010, pop star Lady Gaga made waves by rocking her meat as a dress. What? Oh. She wore a meat dress. Do you she remember that? She rocked her meat. Yeah, I do. It doesn't really look like meat. It kind of just looks like a colorful red dress. Wait, was that literal meat? I don't know, but that's disgusting if it Whether is. Whether Halloween reveals opted for a take a... I don't think you could just wear, like, strips of meat to I don't know if it's show. thin enough and you're rich enough you could probably get a meat costume yeah i guess they could have smoked it and then made it like, <laughs> like not, beef jerky kind of yeah like not smell terrible yeah i don't know all right 2011 it was a show that people would watch when they got home from school and it was really trashy like i could be on the show the kardashians oh uh real housewives <laughs> no not quite hannah montana Snooky in the situation. Ah, that's a good one. Those were the big deal. Jersey Shore was huge was, in 2011. I'm surprised the situation was one of them. I well, because it was like a couple outfit. Yeah, weren't but they, they weren't, weren't a they couple. Com- no. Oh. Who was Snooky's boyfriend? I mean, nobody on the show. Wait, Snooky wasn't dating anyone on the show? No. I thought they were all like dating each other. Uh, Ronnie and Sam were dating. They were. <laughs> they were. I, I've watched Jersey Shore. I love it. It's funny. Okay. Um, Ronnie and Sam were dating. They were toxic as fuck. Uh, yeah. That's it. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I would address this Polly. Polly, I feel like is the most dress up. Polly D, DJ his, Polly D, because of his hair. Like he's still a DJ. Yeah, like I saw him on Instagram. Yeah, he's still out there. Um, one of them's in prison though. I forget which one. Might yeah, situation. He was in prison. <laughs> I think he's he's out. Uh, today the he's Jersey Shore may be best known for its boardwalks that will take you back in time, but in 2011 the Jersey Shore was known for the TV show Jersey Shore. The tan big, wait what? Big buff buffented? What does that word mean? Big buffet. B O U F F A N T E D. Buffanted? I don't even what know. What the fuck does that mean? It's too fancy the for me. Big buffanted slicked uh, back hairstyles of the show was made worker. for a fun couples. Okay. Um all right. 2012. Think uh superheroes yeah, again. Yeah, that's why figures me. Superman, Hulk, Iron Man, uh Batman. I don't know. Whatever. The Avengers. Okay. That was the just first all Avengers. of them. Yeah. Wow, just, dude. Just You're a superhero. Congrats. Anyone that's a superhero for Halloween, unoriginal. Not not very creative. Everyone's done it. See, this, this is creative. That, that this is not. This is creativity. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, this is more creative than being Batman. Well, no, because you only have one item on. If you had like a whole yeah. like, fireman suit. Oh, I got a suit at home. Well, I don't, but. I would have if I was gonna commit to this. You bet your ass I'd have a suit. Yeah. Um. All right. 2013. You're not gonna guess it. It was twerking Teddy. What? That blows my mind. It was so Miley Cyrus. Like, do you remember when she twerked on that one guy? What was it? his name's in here somewhere? Uh, Robin Thicke. Yeah, Robin Thicke. She like twerked on him at the VMAs. Yeah. And apparently there was she was in like a teddy bear costume or some shit, and now they call it twerking Teddy, and it was like the bestseller. You know what's funny is like that was a huge huge deal that she twerked on him or whatever, but they do that in every music video ever. Like that's not uncommon. That's what I'm saying. Like she was ahead of her time with a twerking. Yeah, she twerked. Yeah. Like back true. then it was like, oh my god, she rubbed her ass like, all over the place, and now you just turn on an NBA and you see Lizzo's ass for free. That's true, dude. And that's the, I don't want to see that really. Yeah. Dude, I saw a guy with um Lizzo's, Lizzo's ass, <laughs> Lizzo's pants, like that kind of vibe. What do you mean? Yeah, I swear to God, dude. I got off the bus and I was walking to work. <laughs> what you- and this man in front of me had jeans on, but they were cut on his ass. 
I was I was trying to take a picture of it, but Wait, there was like a hole cut out around yes, his ass. Like cheeks. his ass cheeks were out, but but like the pants, it, it was were like still around his waist. Just, they cut just a circle out by his ass. It was circle on each cheek. There was still the thing in the middle, the fabric <laughs> in the middle. Yeah, I saw this man's buns. Wait, he was no no underwear. No, <laughs> I swear. Was it hairy? Uh, not really. Why did he? What? Yeah, he was. He got off the bus, or maybe he wasn't off the bus. But I just, I got off the bus and I ended up behind him for like a block, <laughs> or like half a block. And you I was couldn't like, help but look at it. And I was just like, what the fuck? And then I was gonna pull my phone out, and then he stopped walking, and he was like on his phone, and I didn't want to stop. So I was and like, he was okay. just doing it like nothing, like nothing was weird. Not, not a problem in the world. I saw a guy in a kilt the other day too. I mean, just, that's, that's pretty standard. That's kind of dope. Yeah, kilts are cool. Yeah, but yeah, I saw this man's cheeks. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, uh, sweet. Twenty fourteen. Any idea? Movie related? Dude, I don't know what happened in 2014. You don't I was, know what happened in any of I was years. like a sophomore in high school, maybe. What was big? What did I do? Not much. You don't know? What, what was I nope, interested nope. in? Like <laughs> Definitely that, not, not what this is. Like uh, Cinderella? Oh, kind of close. It was Frozen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Frozen came That's out. Right. You know, all the sing-alongs were Dude, huge for I the little kids. what happens every year. Dude, at Frozen was like... That was the first time in my life that I remember something taking over like the entire world. Yeah. As like, like don't get me wrong, Star Wars and stuff was big, but Frozen was like you would go into Target and it was everywhere. Yeah, it was like around Christmas time. It was just like Frozen, Frozen, Frozen everywhere. I would say f- the Frozen fandom in 2014 was similar to like Fortnite. Have you? Yeah. A couple years ago. Have you seen Frozen? I have. Yeah. What What do you think? I liked it. I liked the first one. I, I'm yeah. not really a fan of animated movies, but I watched that like at, with my family, and I was like, you know, I mean, it's obviously it's not made for me, but like as a kid's movie, I thought it was pretty pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it was wholesome. I think I saw it once, and I don't remember being like pumped by it, mm-hmm. just being like, yeah, that was good. I was just like, okay, yeah. I prefer, it I prefer doesn't Tangled. live up to Ratatouille at all. No, but. or Shrek. <laughs> Shrek well, is still my all time. I still uh, don't really like Shrek, but it's Love okay. Shrek. All right, this one absolutely blew my mind. In 2015, the mo- you're not going to guess this. I'm just going to tell you. The most popular Halloween costume was dressing up as Caitlyn Jenner. What? How do you dress up like Caitlyn Jenner? So it said, so Caitlyn cool. Jenner, father of... <laughs> That's weird. Father of Kendall and Kylie Jenner yeah. came out as a trans woman on the cover of Vanity Fair in a huge moment for pop culture. Her simple white leotard was the top-selling costume of 2015. So, oh, was it her when she was on the cover of that magazine? Apparently, yeah. So people went out and bought a white leotard. I would have a hard time knowing who that is, though. Yeah, because you don't like uh, look like her. That's what you I'm just saying. Just have a dress on, and like a lot of people could wear a white leotard. I could wear one. Am I Caitlyn Jenner? No, not really. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Okay. Uh, 2016. Uh, Trump. There we go, baby. Yeah. Yeah, That's that was huge. One. Yeah. Um, 2017. Any guesses? Um, <laughs> I don't know, dude. I just can't stop laughing. Like, I just like this. Yeah, like I got used to you wearing a wig, and then I just like kind of took a step back and realized like <laughs> <laughs> just talking to John wearing a wig. Hey, I mean, funny. I can change. You want me to change? No, no, no. No, no, I'll, I'll change. I'll change for the last 20 minutes. All right, all right. All right, John has now changed costumes. He is a podcaster slash tiger. Leopard. It's not, Leopard, leopards? No, leopards don't have stripes, dude. Dude, we've come been on, over man. this. I don't this know kid th- does not know the jungle cats at all. Yeah, don't mess Is with that those good? ears. Is yeah, when your ears is kind of sagging. Can you take me a little more seriously now? And yeah. Give me the full attention that I deserve on this yeah. beautiful show. I think I can. Okay. I think I could do it. By the way, guys, if you want Pim's merch, we launched our our merch store last week. I'm not currently wearing it because I'm sweating, but we got hoodies, we got really cool hats like this one. We got uh, T-shirts, all the good stuff. Where can they find it, Kyle? Pims.store. Yes. That's Pims.store, P-I-M-S dot S-T-O-R-E, Pims.store. Yes. So thank you guys so much for the love recently. We're Pims. almost at 50,000 followers on TikTok. Mm. Uh, TikTok's been banning a lot of our stuff recently. TikTok doesn't like us anymore. <laughs> TikTok, I think they, they're on the, they've realized what we are. They're on to us. They're on to us. <laughs> you got us. Uh, but but sometimes I've outsmarted them because sometimes they'll mute our post like they mute the posts that are kind of too controversial or yeah. grotesque or whatever the fuck because we said the word Pornhub yeah I guess <laughs> and so they mute it so what I've done instead now 
Well, sometimes they mute it based on the algorithm. Like if you say something in the caption, like if you say sex or like death or yeah, yeah. something. So what I did, and I think based on the text on the screen, because we have those little titles. So one of them got muted and it was about Matthew McConaughey's dad dying during sex, mm. which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So I re-exported the clip with a different caption and I posted it with a different little caption and then it, they didn't catch it. Okay. So they deleted it once. They haven't caught it a second time. We just got to avoid the potty words, apparently. Apparently. Um, okay. So, Kyle, now yes. that you're giving me your full attention. Got it. What happened in 2017? What was the most popular costume? Um, I'm trying to think, dude. 2017? What did we... What? It's tough. I'm putting you on the spot. Like, I don't know what happened in 20... If you could tell me three events that happened in 2017, I don't think I could tell you. If I told you The Astros events, won the World Series. You couldn't tell me? That doesn't make sense. Mm, yeah, yeah, I said that weird. Yeah, I don't know. But the biggest costume was Hocus Pocus. What? It was a movie um, that was back in 1993, but since became a classic... That's that blows my mind random. that a movie that came out in 1993 had a resurgence in 2017 with no follow-up movie. Dude, I just think nothing happened. Yeah, I think people were so like bored and out of it that they just needed something. Yeah. And Hocus Pocus apparently took over. I guess. Okay, Kyle, we got three we got two more years. All right, 2018. 2018, 2019. These ones are pretty close to home, so you better be able to guess. I still don't know. Like, I don't Go out on Halloween, so I don't know what people are dressed up. Dude, 2018. As. What happened? Uh, dude. I don't remember. Okay, let's try 2019 first. Dude, that feels like eternity ago. <laughs> Last year? Yeah. Last Halloween? Yeah. What was big? What's been just the biggest things in pop culture the last two years? Uh, Rattle some off. <laughs> dude, like a little pump. <laughs> okay. <laughs> little pump. Yeah, he was big. He was big in like 2017, um, 2018. Man, Post Malone. Post Malone was big, Okay, too. I could see 2017 being Post Malone. We already did 2017. Well, yeah, what was 2017 again? Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. All right, what was, what was 2018? Just tell me. Fortnite. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 2018 was Fortnite. I forget. It was okay. all the kids dancing. Dude, they probably made so much money on Halloween sales because I saw so many costumes in, like, Walmart and, like, the Skull Trooper skin and, like, the... What are the other ones that that, are that girl in that with the swim the floaties on? Yeah, that girl yeah. was her. Beach and people girl. even got like pickaxes, like the fake pickaxes yeah. and the llamas. Dude, too much. What about 2019? Warzone. <laughs> Warzone. <laughs> Real guns. No, Warzone came out this year. Oh shit. 2020. Did it? Yeah. How the COD releases? Dude, fucking... I'm so off with my Dude, years. Like <laughs> it all just blends. Warzone into one came bad out like life. seven months ago. Okay. So. <laughs> all right. Well, I don't know. What okay, was it was Fortnite again. That's stupid. Fortnite back to back. God, all right. Come on, you could have guessed that. It's I would have thought it would be something else. Nah. Two years in a row. But think about it. Like Ninja got big in 2018, but then it carried into 2019 because that's when I everyone know. else blew up. I know, but it's like, dude, be something else. Yeah. Well, hey, you were addicted to Fortnite for like three years, so you can't talk shit. No, it was like two years. No, it was. Nah. Uh, now I'm on Warzone. Okay. Yeah. Like a real adult. Yeah, Warzone's fun, but there's so many hackers. It sucks because there's such a Warzone has such a bad anti-cheat system that like it ruins the game because a lot of times you'll die and you watch the kill cam and they literally just like quite you can just obviously tell they just have aimbot. Yeah, it's like what am I supposed to it's fucking like, do? There's no way he no scoped me, headshotted me from across the map. Yeah, it's like I spent like 20 minutes trying to do my best here and then I die to a guy hacking. I just why is that even fun? Like, that's not I don't fun get, at all. Dude, who are the people that are hacking in video games? Dude, what kind of sad worst, existence is that? The saddest. Like, you have nothing better to do than to hack a video game and feel good because you killed someone. And it's not like they, they no gain chance. anything from it. They don't make content about it. If you post videos of you hacking on YouTube, you yes. get banned. The video gets taken down oh, and really? you get banned. Your account gets banned from COD. Good. Same with Fortnite. Like, so these people are literally just degenerate losers. Yeah. Sitting in their house learning Sad how to people. hack it's and the just same thinking they're cool getting like 45 kills. It's the same people that'll talk shit about like Pims. Pims, yeah. It's those people or the hackers. It's like you're just a sad person. Yeah. Like, I want to feel bad for you, but I don't feel bad for you because you suck. There are times if someone's like a really piece of shit where I actually do feel bad. Yeah. And I don't just like, I genuinely like don't wish. 
the way you are on anyone. Yeah. Because it's like you are such a horrible human that like imagine being you. <laughs> it's like, that like, must suck waking up every day knowing that you are you. <laughs> That's something I deal with every day. Yeah. Wake up and look in the mirror. I'm like, God damn, another day being Kyle. Yeah. <sighs> That's why he wears this wig to try and... I try to change up my look just to feel better about myself and freshen things up, but it doesn't work. doesn't work. No. Nothing can fix this. Nothing fixes this. Yeah. What are you doing for Halloween this year? <sighs> I'm moving. That's going to be fun. Yeah, I'm literally doing nothing exciting. I will be moving the entire weekend, moving my sister and me. Are you going to take a moment to sit down and be like, you know what? Happy Halloween, Kyle. You deserve this. Have a good day today, Kyle. Have fun on this Halloween night. Or are you just going to zoom through it? Not even a stop I mean, and smell the roses, Kyle. I don't know. <laughs> I, like, I have zero plans. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do anything. How far is the apartment from your home? My apartment? Yeah. It's like 12 minutes. It's not far. So you're just going to be doing loads of trips back and forth, back and forth. Or do you think you can no, fit we, most of your shit in? Like no, we'll trips? have a U-Haul. Oh, you're getting a U-Haul. Yeah, but I'm going to have to drive back here to get, help Jordan with his stuff, drive back. Yeah, dude, it's going to be a lot of trips. And then on top of that, I'm moving my sister in. It's going to be a long weekend. You're I helping, you're helping her move in too? Yeah, That's I have gonna be not fun. packed at all. <laughs> <laughs> How much are you bringing? Like, do you really have that much? Well, it's most of the stuff like I already have. have. Stuff. Like, I have all my, like, stuff that I'm actually bringing, I just have in my attic anyways. And yeah. it's all, like, in boxes, luckily. Just, other than that, it's just the stuff in your bedroom, right? Yeah, it's just my room. Like, Jordan already took apart his whole bed. Are you bringing the... Wait, he took apart <laughs> his bed already? <laughs> yeah, he's sleeping on his mattress. Like, I mean, I guess that's kind of smart. It's just, yeah, he didn't have time otherwise. Um, But, so are you bringing the bed from your mom's house, or are you getting a new bed? No, I'm bringing it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to bring the U-Haul. Dude, disassembling and reassembling bed frames is the most unfun thing on the planet. I've moved mine like three times. Mine's super easy, luckily. But, dude, there's some. Like, I also had the heaviest dresser of all time back in the day. I'm glad I don't anymore. In the heaviest couches because it had a fold-out bed in it. Yeah. Dude, moving a heavy-ass furniture is the worst. Dude, or building. I had to build this desk that I got from Ikea, and it was like kind of cheap, but like it was cool because it was like glass. But then I realized like the reason it was so cheap is because it's just shit quality and flimsy yep. and they give you the shittiest little screws mm -hmm. and I spent fucking five hours and then I built it backwards and then I had to <laughs> disassemble it and build it again. <laughs> I have been there. I, I spent two, dra two days on a dresser that I was going to use for my room that my sister took a week later. Wow. That I built a dresser. Wow. I'm getting it back though. Okay. So that's good. You get your trusty dresser <laughs> yeah. that you have worked so hard on. Yeah. Hey, well, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm too. Not for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, guys, uh, it's pretty soon. It's gonna be Thanksgiving. I don't know what we should do because last year we did a Thanksgiving bracket for Thanksgiving foods. Yeah, we're not doing that again. What should we? What can we do that's Thanksgiving festive? Bracket of things we're thankful for. <laughs> it's like no no i'm more thankful for my family than my friends are you kidding me then we argue about Ooh. like whether friends or family are more important that's <laughs> good and then we no. get to a point of like which friend would we kill if we had to oh we could do a bracket of like our best friend <laughs> just kill off each other we only have like six total though yeah it's a good bracket it's a short bracket it's fine it's a pretty easy easy call yeah and you know someone's gonna feel bad it's like you know gonna murder one of our friends we could actually yeah, would kill, kill you first well i think i, wouldn't be I, think I would take chris like as the survivor like i would kill everyone before chris why i just feel like he's like the most like wholesome like he's probably done like the most good in the world what has chris done good in the world i would wish you <laughs> what is you or shim or what is i what has you done <laughs> i has done i has made people laugh really Online. chris has made me laugh okay way more than you I've, I've ever made, will i make chris laugh you all unfunny time. Slab of meat. Hey, don't speak to me that way. If you guys are new around here, uh, on Mondays we have certain segments. On Thursdays we have different segments. Um, today we have A and F of the week. The A's are, you know, people who just aced it. They did great this week. They did amazing. Mm -hmm. Kyle? Yeah. Who, who got an A this week? So mine are both. Both? That was not a word. Mine are both going to be sports related. Wow. What else who would have guessed what it? What else is new? I just, that's, when I'm like looking for my A or thinking about my A, like those are just the things that strike with me or those okay. are the things I find on my timeline the most. Um, but yeah. yeah I mean, when Kyle opens up Twitter, the first thing he sees is sports because he follows 99% sports people. Exactly. Thank you. Now you understand. Um, I'm going to give it to the Dodgers because they won the World Series. I, I had the city of Los Angeles because yeah. they won the NBA championship and the World Series. If the Rams win the Super Bowl, that's just fucking stupid. Because I mean, it would be kind of cool. 
Yeah, but LA. not for us. <laughs> no, no, not for us at all. No, because Seattle, they'll never. I mean, we got the WNBA championship, and we won Hell the MLS yeah, Cup baby. last year. So the my two favorite leagues won <laughs> in Seattle. The Mariners will never win. The Seahawks, there's a chance. They're it's kind of sad sucks. that like the the Sounders fan base is like bigger than the Mariners fan base. Yeah, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. Yeah, let's go. It's because the Sounders are good. Yeah, no, I know. That's, yeah. It's just funny because I think any other city with an MLB team and an MLS team. Yeah. The Mariners are like the little, little brother. Yeah. <laughs> like the littlest newborn baby in the family. Yeah. Right. Um, One day. Yeah, what's your A? Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like I said, shout so, out LA. Okay. Um, Anything else you want to add? Well, when I lived there, I never lived there long enough to really become a like big fan of any LA team in particular. But I will say I went to a Dodgers game one time and it was just a really awesome experience. Big Dodgers guy. He went to one game. No, I'm just I'm just Huge saying fan. since I've been to a game now, like I actually I could just get like the vibe of like why people root for this team and like the mm-hmm. whole I was just at the stadium and I was just like, damn, this is kind of like a cool experience because it was like really old stadium, been there for a long time, had a lot of history. It how was many, cool. How many Dodgers can you name right now? Mm, Clayton Kershaw. That's it. That's it. Are you serious? Yeah. Dude, I haven't watched baseball in like seven years. Okay. I didn't, I when I went to the game, the only person I knew was Clayton Kershaw. Okay. That was four was, years ago. Did he pitch? No. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool. Okay. <laughs> glad, glad we established that. I can't name a single person on the Rays. Really? Nope. Okay. I haven't watched baseball. That's dude. fine. Yo, I so, so you, this, watch, you watched it last night, didn't you? Yeah, but I don't know anything. Okay. It's on <laughs> there. John just I people just, running around. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Literally, yeah. I followed this guy with one point. I think one point eight million followers. He's a fitness guy named. It's A P F A U. I don't know what it stands for. App Fow. App Fow or something. I'm pretty sure that's his at. And he posts a bunch of really useful like fitness stuff and diet stuff and like strength stuff. He's just really smart and like just very knowledgeable. But I. Uh, like every day before he goes in the gym, he like puts stuff on his story and does a poll. And one of them was like, he was like, oh yeah, I'm tired today. Don't really want to work out. I was up late watching the world series. How many of you guys actually watch the world series? Cause I feel like people don't really care as much this year. <laughs> and <laughs> 80, 81% said they didn't, they aren't watching the world series this year. That's sad. And he has a 1.8 million followers and people are in quarantine. Yeah. I mean, it's so sad. I watched They need it. some better marketing, I think. Dude. They it, need to get like people to care about the players, I think. Yeah. They need the players to like have like a personality. That's the problem is that they keep finding people for doing anything with personality. <laughs> like Trevor Bauer tried to have cool cleats and they find him. It's yeah. like, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, they just need like some sort of like they need some of them to like just get f- like big on like something else other than baseball they need a new you know? like odell streaming now you see that is he odell got streaming nothing else on to do towards ACL. <laughs> yeah Shit. likes to get booped on blake snell he uh yeah you know blake snell he's on the race nope he's the pitcher dude Don't he's know. from here why would i know blake snell he won the cy young last year i didn't turn on baseball once last Just year saying why would i know he's why do you expect that i know these people okay anyways my f is um major league baseball <laughs> one wow. one apparently because no one watched World Series, but two because Justin Turner on the Dodgers. If you guys don't know, he's a third baseman, one of their better players. Okay. He before the game they test all the players for coronavirus. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone was negative. His was inconclusive. So then they further tested it during the game. They find out it's positive. So he has to get pulled from the game. Gets told to like self isolate, whatever. And then they win, and then he's like back out on the field with no mask on. <laughs> celebrating hugging his teammates and his wife everyone's families are out on the field and everyone's like wait this dude's got the rona and we're all just running around together and like i get it i mean it. it's the world series i dude. know you like, just won the world series i get like i'm not super pissed about it because like i get it if if, and if like if that were my teammate i would be so overwhelmed with like happiness i would be like i don't give a fuck dude i'll i'll yeah, get it give like, me the rona here, dude celebrate with me so like i get that but it's a bad look it is yeah, a bad look i mean but like so what should they have done? Kept him, just lock him away in the locker room? I guess. I mean, yeah, I, that's what what they probably should have done. But I, I, it's just. Do you a, th- but like, I don't. I couldn't see them doing that in the NFL or at NBA. If it's an NBA Finals, LeBron gets caught with COVID halfway through the game. 
That's you the think thing, they're yeah. not gonna? He's not gonna make an appearance on no, TV. He, I bet you he would. Yeah, yeah I think they would. Any sport they would have yeah. done that. But I mean, Justin Turner is also LeBron's different. Justin Turner is not LeBron. Like he's but a good player. But you can't like, <clears throat> you can't give a hierarchy of oh, if LeBron is COVID, he's fine. But if yeah, but like you let's know, say like Danny Green is COVID, he's not fine. But like pitching coach. Like assistant pitching coach, if yeah. he gets corona, like you want him back out on the field celebrating with you, well, like no, not but really. that's he's just like no one even knows who the fuck that is, and he's not not the same level as part of the team as a player is. Yeah, but like, so so, so, so you are saying that it, that it does matter of like the standing of the player. What you no, said? You said it doesn't matter. I don't know what we're arguing. I here. don't really either. You this said it would be it would make more sense if LeBron did it than if this third baseman did it. Yeah, and I think it's the same for any player. Maybe I was arguing against myself. This tends to happen. <laughs> we 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 get on the wrong page, and then we're actually on the same page, and then we start arguing, and we don't know why we're arguing. Yeah, I don't even know what we're debating here. I don't remember either. So <laughs> let's move on. Okay. What's your F? Um, <laughs> my F is. See, we're too stupid to argue. <laughs> my F is Quibi, which I don't know if you heard about Quibi. The fuck is Quibi? Quibi was a streaming service, a new one that launched six months ago, and they raised two billion dollars in startup capital. Okay, which is a large amount of money. It's a good amount of money. And within six months of launching, they just announced that they're they're like shutting down because they're going bankrupt. And it is it's the none. biggest fail like ever in tech Silicon Valley businesses. That sucks. That $2 billion in startup capital and six months after launching, they already failed. There are some upset millionaires and billionaires. $2 billion and you can't do anything. They just flunked. They just It was just a little shart. Someone sharted in their nose and said, there you go. What? That's that's what happened. Someone sharted and Quibi went down. Yeah. I mean, if someone, if someone sharted, I wouldn't listen to their streaming service. I wouldn't go on it. No, I'm just saying if someone sharted stream. in your face, you'd probably have like a bad day and it would ruin your day. Just yeah, like you'd get pink eye. Someone sharted on Quibi and they just got pink eye. They all probably got pink eye and they, yeah. they shut it down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Make, get, I made it. That makes sense. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, can we just stop getting new streaming services? There's enough. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's true because there's a lot of streaming services and there's already enough competition. Why would you start another one? Like I know pe some people like Disney Plus. I was even kind of like when Disney Plus came out, I was even like, really? Why the fuck do we need... Can't Disney just come to an agreement with HBO or Hulu or Netflix Dude, or Amazon? You know what I need is Nickelodeon Plus because I <laughs> like Nickelodeon shows way better than would all you, the Disney shows. Would you pay shows. for Nickelodeon Plus uh, if it had every Nickelodeon show ever? Depends how much money. I would I would do the free trial and watch for a month. Probably never watch it again. And just keep using new emails? Yeah. There's people that do that with Hulu where they yeah. do a seven-day free trial and just make a new email every time. Okay, that's dumb. That's a lot of work. But it's easy... Think about how easy it is to make a Gmail, dude. You can make a Gmail I mean, in like three minutes. Yeah. And then it's seven days worth of entertainment. I guess. It's just annoying. Yeah. Or if you forget, then you get charged and you're like, ah, damn it. Yeah, that's true. Um. All right, guys. There you have it. Be sure to drop a like on this video if you're new around here. Uh, subscribe with and hit the little bell so you get notified when we upload. Because if you don't hit the bell, sometimes YouTube likes to sharten Kyle's nose. Oh, I <laughs> hate that. They don't tell you guys when we upload, so... Kyle, where can they follow you? Instagram at Kyle Stafford 36. Follow the podcast at Pim's Podcast. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Yep. You guys can follow me at Hey Narwhal on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. There's new episodes of this show every single Monday and Thursday. We have a Patreon at patreon.com slash Pim's Podcast where you can get extra content every single month. Um, yeah, so definitely check that out. There's deleted scenes videos, you know, behind the scenes of what it's like to be doing Pim's, all that good stuff check it out we love you all we'll see you guys next Wait, time. if you want merch if you want merch pims.store pims.store see you guys next time bye bye